Thanks for zooming around the county with us today. We are back with a special guest from Chesapeake Hearing Centers. It's Dr. Allen. Welcome to the show, doctor. Oh, it's so nice to be here. I feel like, <laughs> so, we're, I feel like we're so close. <laughs> I know. We had a chance to talk and everyone's like, what are they? Yeah. It's so fun getting to meet new people this way because we get to talk about all the things while we're doing tech rehearsals and stuff. So it was very nice meeting you today. It's nice to meet you. So let's talk about Chesapeake Hearing Centers. What If someone doesn't know about you guys, could you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Oh, absolutely. So we are the oldest private practice, audiology private practice in the state of Maryland. Um, our founder, Larry Hutto, started the practice over 45 years ago. And uh, I started with them about 34 years ago. So we've, we've been around for a while. Um, we've always had six to seven offices across the state and currently have seven, um, four on the Eastern shore um, with one here on Ken Island in Queen Anne's County and three on the Western shore. Um, providing hearing aid services, uh, audiology, testing, um, whatever you need with your ears. Yes. And now whatever you need is kind of changed up a little bit too, because oh, yeah. now what you need might be some telehealth. So could you tell us what's going <laughs> well, on right now during this time? Absolutely. So, um, you know, it is it is a difficult time for many businesses and um, Chesapeake Hearing Centers has remained open throughout the pandemic. We just have shifted how we manage our patients um, for Thing, taking care of our own patients who have hearing devices, who may need service or cleanings or troubleshooting. Um, we have a little box, <laughs> a little sanitation box that sits outside and the patient makes an appointment and then um, puts their devices in the sanitation box and we take them in and um, take care of them with minimal or no contact with the patient to, to protect them. Um, we do a lot of telehealth, uh, kind of similar to what we're doing right now. We can, right. um, set up a, a telehealth call with patients, um, for existing patients, as well as new patients and, uh, get to know them, take history, do a lot of troubleshooting. Um, um, and that's been very successful. And anyway, I, I will say we've been very creative any way that we can help a patient, whether it's through telehealth or a Dropbox or a phone call or any anything that can help them, we we are here for them. Um, you know, it's tough enough being in these uncertain times. Uh, it's even tougher when you're in an at-risk population and you don't want to go out. And then you add to that masks, which actually attenuate the the sound of speech by about 12 decibels which is really big. And then most masks, of course, you can't see the patient's or the person's mouth. And so you get no lip reading skills. We have some super cool masks that are cool. Yes. And you great. can see through them. So, uh, so we can, again, communicate with our patients. Um, and, and we've done a lot of things. So when we've had this quiet time, we've gone through our offices and made lots of changes to, to help our patients out. Yeah. And I know we got to talk a little bit beforehand and you do serve a population that maybe hasn't used Zoom or used telehealth or used any of these things. Is there anything you'd like to say to prospective or current patients about how much at ease you can put them with telehealth? So we can help guide them through it. It, it certainly depends on the technology that they have. And even, I mean, before the pandemic, we always encouraged having companions. So, you know, you may have a son or a daughter um, who would join you and help you through the, the, um, the process. Um, but many of our seniors are very tech savvy and, mm -hmm. you know, are getting used to telehealth with their own primary physicians. Um, certainly if it's not something that you can do or you don't have a computer or you don't have access, um, telephone always works. So we can, we can work that way. Um, and we will do whatever we can. Sometimes it's a mixture of things. We may do an initial phone call, followed up by a telehealth appointment, followed up by a Dropbox appointment. So, um, so we will be creative and work with the patient and whatever their needs, you know, their needs are. Right, and it's a whole new yeah. world. So it's it's a great time to be creative <laughs> and find these solutions. So if yeah. someone was looking for more information, or if they want to become a new patient or anything else. What's the best way to go about that? So you can certainly call our office, but um, you can also go to our website, which is where you're going to get probably the most information about who we are. Um, and you can send us a message through the website. And that 
that website is www.helpyourhearing.com. Um, or you can call any of our office numbers. Um, one of the numbers is 410-647-7795. But, and, and you can call that number from anywhere. It will roll over and find the right office. So any of our front office staff can take care of you. And, and we have maintained our phones also throughout the crisis so that our patients have been able to get in touch with us. Um, and interestingly, we've kept up that phone call number. We've had lots of people, mm -hmm. you know, needing, needing to communicate. And uh, I think when you're quarantined with family and you start turning the TV up, it, uh, it becomes more obvious. Oh, sure. So before we let you off the hook, because I know you have a lot to do, would you like to give one last message to any, anyone listening, anyone that may be uh, not scared, but uh, looking to join your practice or have just missed out so far with talking with you? Well, you know, um, we're here to answer any questions, um, you know, as, as things have come up, um, it, having a hearing loss uh, really, you know, it really impedes your communication. And, and I think being able to hear what's going on and being able to communicate with family and um, particularly as more and more of us have to stand six feet apart and wear masks, um, I think those little hearing problems are gonna become bigger issues. We can find a solution for you. So again, through many different media um, uh, ports, we can, we can communicate with you if you just have questions, if you, you know, want to do online hearing tests or, you know, if we need to get you into the office, we can certainly make that happen. Um, we have a pretty stringent infection control program. We have made some, some big changes to our waiting rooms and uh, office space to accommodate patients and keep them safe. And that's, that's really our priority is taking care of our patients. Perfect. As well said. Well, Dr. Allen, thank you so much for Zooming with us today. Oh, absolutely. And you <laughs> and have we'll a great get back day. To work. Oh, yeah, of course, you too. I hope we'll let you get back to work. I know you have so much to do. Oh. But Queen Anne's County, thank you so much for joining us today. Check out their website if you like more information, and we'll Zoom with you later. All right. Take care.